How you guys doing out there? Yeah, I've been getting a lot of emails and stuff about uh, the speed thing and how do I get my fingers to move like that. I'll say, let somebody else play the lick for you. <laughs> nah, but seriously. You know, it took me a long, long time and my fingers still ain't what they used to be. I stopped playing in 97. I just started playing a couple months ago. But the thing about it is that the main thing is probably the technique behind it. And I'll show you that real quick. Now, most people, when they grip it, the guitar is thumbs going down the back of the neck as such. And you see the fingers fit a little flat there. You know, like when you're hitting chords, you might even grip it on around the top. That's good. It's okay for playing chords and whatnot, but the problem is, you see how the fingers flip, fit on there kind of flat? That's not good for shredding. So you watch Rusty Cooley and Petrucci. They, they actually take the, the hand and they bow that wrist under. And as you can see, my fingers fit. The tips are more pointed down so that when I'm doing this, my, my fingers don't have to come so far up off the neck because it's a natural thing that way. They flail. So when you cup and bow that wrist under, they sit a little more flat and they can, you can not pull them up a lot. Now, some of the guys will even take the guitar and pull it up so they can really cup underneath so they can get those fingers moving. You see Cooley, he sits down and he's got the guitar cocked up like that half the time. And that's why I don't think he plays quite as fast as he does when you watch him live. And because he can't he can't get the guitar in that kind of position unless he wore it up around his neck. <laughs> Just kidding, Rusty. Uh, but uh, the other thing is I spent a lot of time, a lot of hours, 10 years old, playing legato licks. Um, and I would just do a legato lick with the left hand, you know. Do this up, like for hours all day, just building up that speed and trying to get it clean. And the other thing I'd do with, with the right hand, if I wanted to pick all the notes, I'd work on the speed with just just picking, trying to get a real steady sound, almost like you know, it's even. That way I knew when I could combine it, you know, that I, I could pick it or legato it. But that at least gave me clean sound with the left, and I could work the pick in at any time when I wanted to. Get that ingve or the Cooley sound. I prefer the legato because I, true speed is in the left hand. As you can see, I'm just picking one note, and it sounds like a million notes. You know, so you throw some trills in there, like two, and it sounds like a, sounds like a million notes, and it really isn't. Technically it is, but it isn't. <laughs> so I hope that will help you guys, you know, and spend a lot of time and a lot of hours practicing. You know, it doesn't come easy and sometimes I'd play it for days and days and couldn't get it and then one day I could just play it. And it's funny, that's how guitar works for me. But if you guys have any more questions, give me a holler. I'll be glad to try to answer them the best I can. Um, the experience I had and how I came about certain things. Alright, thank you.